Oh, hello everybody. This is Blue Dragon DCG. Another dual night. Had to take a break, but we're back at it. We got Mana Diem on the left, and we got D Link on the right. We got some pre YCS Indianapolis testing. Pre Agav. It's the last Agav set. And revealing both hands to kind of show what we got going on. We both got some cracked plays about to happen. He did open up the one up driver. Feels super bad. But gonna go ahead and activate that Bestial Lubellion. Gonna do the thing. Grab the Bestial stuff. One thing that makes Dragon Link so great is the amount, the amount of mad consistency. Gonna grab the Pizza Hut. Oh man, I wish that card did not go to one. Jerus to one, I think, would have been cooler. Gonna go with the, the Star Liege little little dragon combo boy for that normal summon. Some quick things on the duelist on the right. AKA Sam the man gonna instead just link one into striker dragon gonna grab that boot sector We are on the no hand trap variants of mana DM just kind of saying you know what brother I'm just gonna break that board But whatever we it is what it is and sometimes that little bit of interaction just kind of throws him off a little bit, right? So he's gonna use uh, red eyes meteor sending that driver Gonna link two in the Romulus gonna grab the one of Dragon Ravine. How many you dealing players always open up the field spells? Just go ahead and comment below on how often you brick because all my homies seem to just have those glued to their hands. I say it's fine, but I'm also a Dragoonity player. I'm gonna summon Magnamont by banishing the little red eyes guy, and I'm admiring the Bondi card. Because, you know, Bondi's best. You got Magma Surge going to go ahead and special summon of the Lebellion, tributing the Magna Mutt, giving him the act. Was that branded? Uh, regained? Well, probably the coolest thing about just two combo fishbowl decks is that they realistically just got random ass plays to just grow and grow and grow. Activating Ravine, going to send. And then it's in the apps router, so we can get that apps router search. I'm gonna grab the was it oh Rocket Boy. I'm gonna go link Pitsy, Pitsy, and and then they're gonna take that Romulus, go into that tri the Trident Dragon, Triverse Dragon, whatever it's called. I'm gonna special summon the Rocket Dragon back. I'm gonna go in the Spheres Effect of Rocket. Get him that other level four from deck. Obviously, we're going to that Borlord Savage play. Borlord Spheres Pass is, seems to be the standard end board for Dragon Link as of, I don't know, forever. <laughs> now, the, um, a Baron would have been great here if he was able to pull that out. But he's going to banish and then add the Lebellion back to hand. Prop, poc, proc the Regain stutter a little bit. Maybe a little thirsty. Got that dry mouth. Regain draw in phase gonna add the Druid. So he's ending on three cards in hand. We know he has a Lebellion and a Druid in hand. Cool. Um, we drew for turn, gonna go into normal summon Rykart, actually the effect of search. Now, Rykart is does search the monster born here in Mana DM. He is going to use the Borlo Savage effect in a gate. Um, procking regain to special summon the Magnamut. Magnamut effect will activate. Giving him that in phase search. But we got a pretty cracked hand. I think we're going to be able to break this board here. We're going to link one in the Scare Claw. And that's going to give us Primitive Planet. We're going to activate Prim Planet to search. We're going to grab the right card again. Pretty positive. That's what I want to grab. You know, we may not get the search effect, but that extra special summon, that extra body on board is so good, especially when we're, we can have your access to the Primitive Planet Pop. We're going to special summon the Prim, little, little Primmy boy. And thinking on my, on my, my avenues of attack here with my ridiculous amount of hand shuffling, going to special summon Meek since I control the 15, the 21. He's going to activate Spheres. I'm just going to go ahead and chain Room Heart, targeting Meek to destroy it. That way I can just get the Meek on board. So Meek's effect will resolve. He's going to bounce to Room Heart so I do not get the Menadium search. 
but we are going to go ahead and get that primitive planet, not primitive planet, we're going to get the meek effect to special from deck, making that level four. The fact that balls float to other balls, so good. Now that we have four defense mission monsters on the field, we do have the effect live. We're going to pop that ball, Drake, because that card's doo doo butter and we don't want to see it. It hurts my board, it hurts my life. Got a lot of, got a lot of thinking going on here. We do have the Visa Star Frost, we don't have the Manadium searching anymore. That is a big problem here. We are gonna sink into Stardust Excel. Use the effect targeting Meek. He's gonna activate Druis. Finishing his own effect Meek. Effect uh, Excel to finish. Procking regained. The bottom deck and draw. We're gonna sink again. End to our Despater. The Despater. The reason why we didn't special summon the Visa Starfrost over the Meek is because we have the other Meek in hand. So we definitely missed out on some value with that little bit of a brick. But that is all right. Got a special Meek destroying Lightheart. Gonna go ahead. And we are just gonna contact Fuse. And we're gonna pop the Borlo Savage with the thickest little, little dude, which is Vicious Ash Loud. Gonna link two in the cross sheep. And we're gonna go ahead and contact Fuse again because Vicious Ash Loud's effect is not a hard once per turn. So that's disgusting. And we will just pop the Magnum Mutt. Go ahead, chain one, two, that way we get that, the meek, giving us another access to 10. Cross sheep bumping all the synchro monsters on the board, all monsters on the board currently, plus 700. So we do have the OTK, and instead of Baron, we're just going to go into Chaos Angel to banish the Druis. And pushing ourselves at 14, 42, and 35 for game. Quick OTK. Um... This deck is insane. Absolutely gas. Well, we're doing quick Yu-Gi-Oh math because as we all know, Yu-Gi-Oh players don't math and we don't read. And busting out the Neuron just to, just to make sure, just to solidify. Just wanted to make sure we got that game exactly. Excuse the editing and it's not that great. But anyways, we're moving on to game two. Revealing the hands. Gonna start off strong <laughs> with the Lebellion effect. We already know Rebellion to Magna, but we opened up post side the main decked V Seals, so we're obnoxious. We're gonna go affect Magna, target the little black red eyes, little little dragon, little boy to kind of stop all that manipulation and that searching. We're gonna go affect Druis, resolving on the next chain. Oh man. I understand why these bestials got hit, but who, who doesn't like having a walking DD Crow? He's gonna grab Black Meteor Dragon, which is that free put in play. Is it Black Meteor? Anyways, it's the Red Eyes free put in play. Gonna pitch the one normal light, which is kind of neato. Shout out to the ones who play the Shadows Light variant because your your light monsters you have no access to. It's a great way to do it. But he's gonna special on Lubellion. Lubellion is gonna grab that brand and regained. Which, let's be real, that card is insane. The amount of drawing you can do, it's just bonkers. So good. Free put and play. Free anything. Get that Magnus Surge. Get the Druid's re put down. Go Rom. Romy to grab the Dragonity Field spell. One of the best dragon support cards of all times. And it's never been hit. Unlike Future Fusion, which was hit and errata to, to hell. Activating, and we already know he's gonna grab and send that Absa router, sending the Sarah near from hand, which is just nothing but value. That's one thing that makes Dragon Link so good. It is essentially just value. Um, I kind of 
shotgun here, banishing the opposite router. He's still going to get the search. What I should have done was, you know, kind of banish that Serenir. But we got that Druis on board now. God, I'm thinking, like I said, this is pre-YCS indie prep. Just wanted to make sure that we, we're going to catch all, we're going to catch all the hands and we're going to be able to take them easy. Activating V boot sector launch, which is, you know, another good dragon support. Effect special from hand, already had everything he needed, which is so good. Gonna go Pitsy, we already know the move, the Pitsy effect. Go into the Trident Drag, Trident Burst, Triple Burst, there we go. Triple Burst Drag, because of a link, three points down, effect special rocket. Go into Steers. We got ourselves a little standoff here. Got that Steers on board. We already know he's gonna be going in the Savage. Mm. Banishing three, he's gonna snipe me a card. Or pop. You know, got himself a little bit of thing. Got that brand regain draw. Rolling the dice to get that randomization. Ends up hitting. I think it was a rev synchron. So it wasn't nothing, nothing super crazy engine wise, but I am down at two cards. Next card was an obsession, which could have been a hit or miss. I mean, abs using obsession on Druis to pop the surge and then get another removal is super great. But with that spheres on board and him about to make a Borlord Savage, it just kind of defeats the purpose, and I wouldn't have it wouldn't have been as consistent and just bounce it away or negate. So it just it wasted all. Get a special Magna, and then he's going to Synchro 12, no, Link 2, into the IP Mask Arena, which is so good. So darn good. Going to end phase here, going to grab the Druids, because I am on a 1-2. A I was only playing three Bestials in main. Now, since have been cut, realizing that just those three B seals aren't as impactful, playing three droplet is just a little bit better, or three thrust, just having a little bit more usability in, in the deck, and then just siding the B seals in when needed. It's a lot better. But going into main phase, we're good to go. We're going to link in the dark, and we're going to proc Druus's effect. We are thinking on target, but he is going to negate, um, then chain spheres, which is probably gonna bounce the dark, but well, let's not get any value here, you know, not like I can magna search for days. Nothing for me, uh, nothing for me left. I do want to shout out the fact that we are almost there to 250 subs, which means our first giveaway. And incrementally, we're going to give another one. 500, then 1K, 2, 5,000, all that stuff. We're going to send a keep keep climbing, keep growing. And with each giveaway, we're going to add more, more fun cards. Activating tactics, and we're going to have to taunt this. We're going to take it, taking the IP... Normal summoning the room heart, room heart effect. We already know that he has the Baldrake, and Baldrake is is annoying, but we're gonna chain on the brand of regain to special on the Druish. Already use the effect this turn, but we can summon it. So not gonna get the extra option to pop, but we do have the access to just kind of do do the things and stuff. But we're gonna special on Meek. Special on Visa Starfrost, destroying Meek effect. Of Meek to special and then float to make it level four. See, there, there is a misplay here in this part. I already had access to Chaos Angel. Chaos Angel could have banished Baldrake, making him whatever I wanted it, but <clears throat> using Activate Baldrake's effect, banishing uh, the Visa Synchro, still let me search and go into what I needed to do, grabbing anything that lists Visa in its effect, but we're gonna grab Abscesses.
banishes the visas. We're going to link to into our cross sheep. Nope, nope, nope. Rewind that. We're going to link to into dark. Verifying that Baldrick is a once per turn. We are just checking, reading cards, seeing what we got. Oh, we got the dark. We're just going to grab the IP. If only we were on the access code, it would have been fantastic, but we're not. So we're going to ab session, ab session to grab that. Grab peaceful. Peaceful is going to search. Grab the visa Starfrost. We will special banishing ab session. Gonna link one. We're kind of jumping the gun here, but we're gonna link one of the scare claw. Then get more access into what we need. We're gonna go peace primitive planet. Gonna grab our right cart. The fact that this deck just has gas and just continues to play and play and play is insane. Just making sure that I can summon on either side. It's just the adjacent columns. Always, always spun, especially when under it, anyways, in combo line. But right now we're playing wonky because he. He disrupted my board and made it to where it was hard for me to play the Yu-Gi-Oh! So we're going to special summon right card. Only two defense defense position monsters on field because why is up to the primitive planet pop? Well, that was a misplay there. I, I had the access to prim planet pop, but we wanted to go in the Chaos Angel. I'm just so excited to get the playoff. And we're going to banish the ball drain because we hate that card. Taking time to read our cards, because like Yu-Gi-Oh players, we got we got double verify everything. We're gonna go in cross sheep, and this play has been done for all of time. Banishing to contact fuse, which is so nuts. I mean, they're they're recently like a cash tier a scare claw deck was playing it. So good. Um, another misplay here, I had access to go use Primitive Planet to affect the pop again, but should have put <coughs> the Astrolog in defense. We already know we're synchroning away. Ball Drake would be popped. Oh, never mind. I was summoning in defense. He graciously let me go back just to make sure. Like I said, we're excited. We're playing. We're breaking combos. Practicing deck. And we're going to Baron Baron Effect the pop. And we are at 42 for the Chaos Angel, 1400 for the Cross Sheep. And that brings us to the end of our game. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and check out the rest of the content. I really much appreciate it. Y'all have a good rest of your week.